Here's something I noticed while taking a few photographs of a building one day, and that is, and of course I would have never thought something like this would have happened, but that is, of course, the anti-skid stair treads that they applied over the brick veneer stairway um, actually are starting to fall apart, and that's because the area isn't smooth. If the stairway was smooth, I would imagine they wouldn't be suffering as much damage. There are two things that, uh, two problems I see here. One is the metal riser, and the other is the indentations in between the brick veneer, um, where they have a little, uh, little variations uh, in between the brick, the for one brick and the other brick. And of course, this has caused over time the anti-skid tread to actually warp or um, kind of like melt into this area, making it weaker and, of course, uh, creating um, tear points, areas where this stuff's going to come apart. And you can actually see it coming apart in uh, certain areas where, uh, where it's being used more, which would be more towards the center of the stairway where people are walking. Now, here's a little more damage, and of course, it's hard to say what is causing this stuff to come off where the other stuff's still holding on. Uh, you know, I mean, if you think about it, if someone walks up the stairway, they're going to walk up the entire stairway. They're probably not going to walk up to the uh, second or third to the last step and turn around or, you know, jump from the third step to the upper deck. So it's kind of hard to imagine. You would think each one of these steps would suffer the same amount of damage and, of course, have the same type of wear. Now, one more, the, the second problem I'd like to point out is when the metal riser actually hits the veneer. You can see here it's rusting. It's starting to deteriorate. And, of course, they applied the anti-slip tread over the metal. And as the metal pulls away from the um, brick veneer, it actually causes it to tear, just uh, tears a line right through there. So this might be something you uh, will want to think about if you're thinking about applying anti-slip or non-skid stair treads to a rougher surface or a surface that has variations or, for example, something with metal risers like this, something where you're going to have a separation or a chance of it separating. And the same thing would apply to wood. If you're going to use two two by sixes to create a stair tread, then you might want to think twice before lapping the anti-skid stair tread over both pieces. And again, I don't know if you would have a problem if you cut these anti-skid um, treads into smaller pieces to where it would just cover a portion of the brick surface and you weren't going to be attaching it to the metal um, riser or the grout lines. Uh, the minute you overlap uh, these anti-skid pieces over something that can expand or contract or separate for whatever reason, then I think you're going to end up with something like this eventually.